And I'm not going to sit there and say, well, this group's more responsible than that group. No, it takes two to tango. If groups of people are at one another's throats, it doesn't really matter who started it, who perpetuated it, who's worse, who's better, who's got more fans, who's more popular. It doesn't matter. No, we've all got the same enemy. Legacy media, legacy entertainment, the establishment. That's our enemy. And if you're aiming your guns at anybody else for any, you know, you know less than perfectly legitimate purpose, it's just counterproductive. It doesn't matter. Under the shadow of the new Praetorian. <laughs> the opinions expressed in this piece are that of the laughing ogre and should in no way be mistaken for those of a sane and rational individual. Now, folks, is based mama a horrible person? Should anyone go to kill Roy? Is it just a giant killjoy? Well, sit back and relax. Here comes the Laughing Ogre! <laughs> thank you so much, Stick, Sex, and Hammer. Thank you for being here as always, real me. And thank you, constant viewer, the most important cog in this machine. I've been avoiding this, but today I'm going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to fill y'all in on the way I see this Kilroy event and one of the organizers and, and what I can say from a very unique perspective, having worked with this person and seen these types of things in very small, very small situations. And a very wise man, King Solomon said, hey, if you can, if you can trust someone in very small things, trust them in very large. If you can't trust them in very small things, never trust them in a very large thing you'd be foolish of course that person is based mama I'm not going to get too deep into our personal relationship because it wasn't much i mean when i first seen what was going on oh maybe about six seven eight months ago and uh seeing the people that were involved i had a feeling uh, that the administration end of Kilroy uh, may end up being a Killjoy and now for whatever reasons it's fallen apart and I'm gonna tell you from my unique perspective having dealt with this individual based mama in the past I'm gonna throw my two cents in there without rancor uh, you know without any kind of vendetta I'm just gonna tell you how I see it and and I have an appeal to make to y'all it may not be what you expect uh, but first, let me try some fancy smancy stuff and see if we can't get it right from the horse's mouth right here. You got anything to say, baseball? Um, we're like, we're signing people and announcing people every day. We're not just having people from YouTube. It's not just that they're because we had an open call for participation. So anybody could participate um, in in adding to the conversation. Um, as far as Andy goes, he's always welcome. I'm never going to say like, no, get fucked, Andy. Like, it's, it's not like that. I would never do that. But we're going and we're going to be having a, a, a bar crawl. And to people who are under the age of 21, uh, I'll be hanging around all, all afternoon and evening. And we could go to, a, I don't know, any, a, do anything that, that you all want to do. And I can't wait to meet you all. So I want to say that bef like before anything, because uh you know i did promote this event and i feel really fucking bad that people paid for this um for this event and and now everyone's starting to pull out of yeah and as he was saying there he will be in the phoenix area at the time of kilroy doing a pub crawl some other event before that in case you're not old enough to go to the bar he's not trying to draw attention away he's just going because people have already apparently got paid for things that they can't get a refund now based on a promotional scheme that involved him not and I don't mean scheme by a, a scheme like you scheme I mean everything you got to have a scheme you got a schematic a schema you have to have a plan you have to have a master plan you have to have something written down that you can hand to people an itinerary you have to have it every time you go to you got to have a rubric for the t every you have to have a plan this appears to me it wasn't a plan and it made some people that I, I won't even lie Andy was not on the top of my list but Mr. Worski jumped up several rungs, as did Stick Sex and Hammer. And thank you for doing the intro, Mr. Hammer. I'll have to try to get you back for that one day. I really appreciate it. 
I, I really gained a lot of respect for both of these gentlemen, especially Styx. He's now out of this Kilroy. Um, but he's still encouraging people to go. He's still not letting any ego get in there. He, he made some statements about if you're going to do this, you can't get involved in interpersonal drama with people that are involved, other creators. You heard him at the beginning. Uh, we have enough problems without fighting amongst ourselves. I, I'm not want to fight with Base Mama. It's already been done. She doesn't, I don't, we don't talk. I have nothing to do with her. I have two things I'd like to say, two lessons I believe we can learn uh, from this situation. People at their base <laughs> stay that way. They at their where where you are at the, the the what actuates you the very bottom of you is generally what you're going to be. Now, of course, I put on characters quite often. I'm sure you do too. We all do. We all have characters that we use in different situations. Uh, most of them very representative of the real us. In my case, some of them not representative of the real me whatsoever. I, I make that clear. But what is at base in me? And every one of us, what actuates us, tends to remain the same through a lifetime. Now, we could change. We may be alcoholics and may quit drinking. We may be drug addicts and stop. Maybe uh, um, um, gamblers and stop gambling. Maybe uh, husband abusers and stop abusing our husbands. Maybe any one of these things, and those things may change. But what is at base? Is this husband abuser a greedy person? Is this gambler kind-hearted and a large tipper? Is this alcoholic a gentle spirit? Is this drug addict a jerk? All of these things will remain the same. So I would just say take a lesson. If you have observed someone telling what seems to be pathological lies, not funny little interesting lies that I don't know. We all lie. I lie. You lie. We all lie. We all embellish, I should say. I don't believe all of us tell flat out lies. I believe I put myself in that category of not telling flat out lies. But if someone does, they're probably going to. Don't put them in charge of something that is huge. If someone seems to be greedy and grasping, don't put them in charge of something huge with a lot of money. Uh, they maybe do the same thing. The second, the second thing that I want to say struck me from Stick, Sex, and Hammer. Please. Go to Kilroy. If you already have a ticket, don't cancel it. If you've already paid, for goodness sake, go get your money. There will probably be a few less people there, not only on the panels, but also in the audience, so you're going to get a closer, more intimate experience. Don't go and abuse based mama in any way. She'll say that she was right, whatever. Don't yell at her, tell her she was wrong. Or this, I uh, can't remember the other lady there, the, the woman there, uh, angry something or whatever, dangerous liaisons. I don't remember the other woman, or whoever you may think did, did something wrong. Uh, if Worski's there at his pub crawl, don't go and accost Worski and be like, you messed up something because you didn't go. No, let's leave that out of it. Because like Stick says, we have enough of that. The lesson we need to learn is division can happen if we allow it. I don't want to make a big stink. I left some messages, not nothing terrible, but I left a couple messages on some videos from Base Mama. Yeah, honest to goodness. I was going, eh, she's been terrible to me. She's been a horrible, horrible, horrible person to me. Well, un unprovoked. I did nothing to her. No matter what she would say about the contrived fake drama that was surrounding everything then, I did nothing to her. And she never asked me one word, nothing. Just complete jerk. And the funny thing is, is right before that, I was talking to Britisher and a couple other people that were around the time, and I couldn't, I didn't want to work with her anyway. She's very difficult to work with. I, I didn't want, you know, her to be on air and say things like she was a, what pops up in my mind all the time is a CIA stuff up. But, but I, again, I feel like I'm bashing. So why bash? Why be upset? I love you, base mom. I hope the best for you. Invest that money you've made. Uh, you may need a lawyer or something. Who knows? And if not, get some educations for your children. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Take care of your life. I hope no ill will to you or anyone else. Uh, I'm not going to go down the list right now. I'm thinking of you, Base Mama, because this is a mess you've made. Uh, could be said of many other things. And I, I loved 
He takes sex and hammer. He has his own opinion, and he don't know you. Um, I do. Let's learn from this. Let's move on. Let's find our niche and get in it and stick in it. Be glad that we're there. I don't want to be jealous of James Alsop, uh, someone else, and then therefore sabotage something that I'm going to be a part of so that they're not there and I look a little bit better. That's what I think may have happened in this situation. Because in the overall scheme of things, it destroys our fun. So look, I hope that wasn't too much of a downer. Remember to like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Um, tell people that you know and like about me. Tell people that you hate about me if you don't like the show. That would be a wonderful, sweet revenge, wouldn't it? And remember, be good to your friends, be good to your family members, be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewers, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, and your cause will depart from you.